I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024. Thank you so much for being with us. We are here to talk health tech. Really, really interesting subject. I'd like to introduce you right now to my two guests. We have joining us from HCL Tech, Vijay Gunter, the CTO and Head of Ecosystems, as well as Prabhakar Apana, the SVP and Global Head of AWS Business Unit with HCL Tech. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us here. It is such a busy conference. There is a lot going on, but I'm very excited as a former health reporter to talk to you specifically about what's going on with HCL Tech. Vijay, when we talk about AI that delivers ROI, we love our acronyms, don't I? It, it sounds catchy, but it is more than just a theme. AI really can help uh, create changes in the bottom line from a financial perspective. What does that mean in practice? So there are two aspects to it. Uh, the first thing is about how can you build a solution that can deliver the return on your investment, which means you think about the solution optimizing across the stack, whether choosing the right chipset for your inference or training, choosing the right data center workloads, choosing the right models for running your applications. So think about the whole thing from a stack perspective, applications to the models, to the data center, right down to the chip. How can you get the best solution for the problem you're trying to solve and create value? While that's a technical aspect of it, most solutions from a perspective of return on investment are thinking about what benefits they deliver to the firm. But there's a second dimension to this beyond the return on investment as a financial metric to the firm that's investing, is to think about the broader impact, especially in things like life sciences and healthcare and uh, retail and sometimes in the um, financial services markets. Think about uh, when you build a system that can predict, uh, let's say 15 days in advance, whether somebody is going to have a uh, event, a cardiac arrest event. Now how valuable that is? It's beyond just putting a dollar on it from a return on investment to the person, to the patient, and then to the broader society because if you are able to predict some of those things, you can save a lot more costs and a uh, lot more better health outcomes. Similarly, think about uh, what is the impact of being able to get remote diagnostics done and getting remote treatments, which are AI-led and can benefit a larger set of customers who could not earlier get those benefits. So it's beyond the boundary of an organization when you think about some of these solutions. But from a traditional ROI perspective, it is about building the right technical stack and right solution, the investments required and the returns that you get. However, in many cases, it's beyond the boundary of an organization. Uh, when you talk about uh, cardiac events, it really brings it home. Everyone can understand what we're really talking about here. It's very easy to get lost in the data discussion, but at the end of the day, we're talking about real human lives. And not only that, but a, a dollar saved can also be a dollar invested in potentially a, a cure for the very thing that that is a ailing someone. Outside of that, I do want to talk about financial investments and Prabhakar, specifically to you, how has this partnership between HCL Tech as well as AWS really evolved in the last year since we last spoke? It has been phenomenal. I mean, the last uh, 12 plus months has been a great growth story for HCL Tech. Um, if, you, if you consider in terms of the competencies, certification, skill set, we have grown multi-floor, we are in the top three uh, you know, to global system integrators in terms of competencies that we have built, which clearly demonstrate how HCL has, uh, HCL Tech has, uh, in a, has been able to actually strengthen its core competencies. And we have moved quite a lot of, uh, you know, difficult and tricky workloads onto the AWS cloud from an industry point of view as well, which has been, again, another phenomenal aspect. We have added financial services, healthcare, life sciences, auto manufacturing industry competency as well to it. And we have also been certified as a launch partner from a generative AI perspective. We have established a strategic collaboration agreement with AWS on the uh, generative AI. And we are building many of the uh, generative AI POCs and use cases for our various industries group. Six of them have been productionized in various industry segments. And uh, in terms of the go-to market, uh, we are tracking a significant partnership growth between AWS and uh, HCL Tech. Overall, I think uh, when we started this uh, engagement uh, three years back with AWS and HCL Tech, uh, we were uh, we had uh, the number of uh, competencies, certifications, industry alignment has been significantly grown to where we are here. 
and we want to be the number one position going forward if you ask me what the vision looks like and we are heading there. A big congratulations. You have accomplished a lot in a very short amount of time. I have a question really for both of you. What are the main concerns that clients have when talking about Gen AI from your perspective and the adoption of it and how do you help solve for that? And either one of you or both can answer. So the usual concerns are about uh, data quality and uh, having your data in place so that uh, your inference and uh, your systems can generate outcomes that are useful. Uh, beyond that, it is about uh, things that models are getting better at, but they still have some concerns about guardrails. Uh, being able to explain how you came to a conclusion is very important. Uh, you think about in a healthcare situation, we built a healthcare advisor system, and it advises the clinician on what are the course of treatment. Now the clinician needs to clearly know why the system is suggesting the course of treatment. And uh, you have to have uh, the ability to explain it, refer it back to research, and evidence it in a way that is convincing so that the clinician can make a decision and then advise the patient with a course of treatment. So when you think about healthcare advisor systems, your explainability is very important. Your data quality has to be top notch to be able to get to the outcomes that you want. So ensuring your data is right, ensuring there's explainability, uh, these are two important aspects, I think. If you don't get them right, then your outcomes won't be right. So those are two aspects I would think about. Absolutely, I mean, you know, the way, the approach that HCL Tech always has been taken is holistic in nature. When you talk about generative AI, you, you're not talking a tactical solution. While you might address a specific business use case on a tactical way, but you need to have uh, your data strategy right. You need to have your security alignment right. You need to have a holistic, sustainable approach in terms of where you are addressing the problem. So what HCL Tech tries to do is to bring in these aspects with the help of AWS and then build a story uh, for, a, for a client from a generative AI perspective. While the challenges exist, while the client would look at more from a tactical approach, but the system integrator job is to actually give it a holistic approach and a long-term vision as to how sustainable, how, the day, how you're going to align uh, the governance around the data and the security aspects and providing the solution. I think that's where we are heading towards. Uh, I know we've covered a lot of ground, but in the limited time, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to talk about AI Force and Enterprise AI Foundry. Please, tell me just a, briefly a little bit about those. Oh, AI Force is truly an end-to-end platform for service transformation, and uh, when we think about either software engineering, IT operations, uh, big things that we do in our businesses and what customers do, getting efficiency across the life cycle, uh, in the software engineering life cycle beyond code assist, is what AI Force really does. And uh, we already have AI-induced uh, systems for operations and uh, autonomous uh, decision-making is the next step with Agentic that we are integrating there. So that's where we are going with uh, AI Force. With AI Foundry is to be able to get your cognitive infrastructure in place, the right uh, CPUs, the right TPU, the GPU infrastructure, then putting, making sure your data uh, infrastructure on top of it and the right kind of data center configuration is there, and then choosing the right models. So ensuring all of this is in place is what AI Foundry is about. Then the next step is to get your data uh, in a way that can be used. So AI Force is all about service transformation. AI Foundry is to create the stack and the data so that you can then build your vertical specific use cases. It has been a pleasure. It's a very exciting time for your company. Thank you for coming down. Nice to see you again. Nice to meet you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you for you. having us here. I'm Steph Strickland. You're watching GeekWire Studios.